Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I am having a nice chilled one. It's quarter past ten and I just oh sorry. I'm just making some breakfast, so I'm just making up a mug of tea um, and I've also got some toast on and I'm making a poached egg. So hopefully the poached egg's gonna turn out nice because I feel like sometimes it's a hit or a miss depending on the egg. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm gonna have for my breakfast. I've got dirt all over me because I was out watering the plants and I always manage to get dirt everywhere, but never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on as to not ruin my breakfast and I'll show you it when it's done. This is my breakfast, it's actually gone really well today. We've got a lovely runny but firm poached egg and one slice of toast. I probably should have had a couple of eggs but I might have another slice of toast and another egg shortly. I'll see how much this fills me up. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that with my mug of tea. Okay, so it's quarter past 11 and that is the weekly vlog up now. Um, it took quite a while. I spent about an hour just getting it good to go. Like you need to do like the thumbnail, the description and just get it all sorted. But anyway, it's up. Um, so I'll leave a link to that down below if you wanna go and see what I got up to Monday to Friday this week. It's now Saturday. Um, it was meant to be a really nice day today but actually it's really windy. Like the sky is so blue. You can probably see that, but you can see the wind in those trees. So I'm not really too sure what to do with my day. Um, I don't know whether to go somewhere. I was thinking about going to a place called Lanark um, and doing some sort of exploring there, but I'm just not too sure. I need to go to the shops and get a few things, but I suppose I could do that on the way back. So maybe I'll just get in the shower and then probably just head to Lanark. It's a road that I know I like to drive there and... I think it should be quite a pretty place, so I should probably get out and do something rather than just sitting in the house on a Saturday, right? And then tomorrow I've got a really busy day, so I'll bring you guys along for that as well. But yeah, I think I'll get in the shower just now and I'll update you in a little bit. So I managed to get showered, but I haven't got any further and it's currently half past three. Um, I was sitting on my phone ordering some stuff for my sister's hen um, and having a look at things for that. So I'm now gonna have some lunch. For lunch, I'm having five oat cakes. I've got a couple with cheese and this is a tomato and chilli chutney and then I've got one with some egg mayonnaise and I've got a couple with some Bertoli and some ham. So that's my lunch, this is annoying me. And I'm just going to make a big glass of juice to have as well. Okay, I've done my makeup, I'm just going to leave my hair to dry naturally. Um, I've just put it in a little bit of a sort of ponytail for the meanwhile. Um, but yeah, I'm going to find something to wear because I've basically been wearing this all the time so I need to actually put some clothes on. So I'm going to go put some, I might put some shorts on actually, although it is really windy but the sun's out so I could potentially get a little leg tan. Um, and then I'll change into jeans for when I go to the shop. Um, might go to the shop in like a couple of hours, but I think I'm just gonna sit out for a little bit longer and read my book. This is today's to-do list. I still need to do the dishes. I was gonna go a walk, but to be honest, it's so windy that I think I might just chill out in the back garden with my book. I've been reading my books, I've already ticked it. I've done my weekly vlog, I need to tick that actually. Um, I have been vlogging, I've done some hen stuff, and I'm gonna go to the shops later for this stuff. And I've done my washing, so I've been pretty productive. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and find something to wear um, and then I'm gonna sit out in the garden and finish reading Jamaica Inn. I'm, well, I'm not really close to the end, but I've maybe got like 100 pages, I think. Yeah, I've got 100 pages left, so I'm gonna try and blast that today. I'm gonna sit out with a cup of tea. Um, and yeah, just have a totally chilled one because tomorrow is a busy day and Monday's quite a busy day as well. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna take today to be my relaxation day and it's been really, really nice. I totally forgot to show you what I bought earlier um, and it's all in the fridge but what I'll do is I'll show you it tomorrow morning because it's going to be like a brunch that I'm going to be laying out so I can show you what I bought um, and what I put together. Anyway, I'm clearing out the bread bin right now and to be honest, I'm just feeling a bit like stressed about it all. Um, I've just cleaned out the fridge as well and chopped out quite a lot of food and then I've got a good amount of stuff going out here and I just feel a bit like why like why are we wasting this much like we're a family of three living in this house and it shouldn't be this difficult to just buy and eat i think we need to get into some sort of better routine and um, i think the problem is that i can't get these open the problem is that we we don't have a shopping day and i tend to do like a lot of my own shopping so i'm not necessarily eating what my parents are buying and I think they just buy both of them, so then like they both buy all of the bread and they just don't really, I don't know, it somehow ends up like that. I think when they come back from their holiday, I'm gonna have a chat because this isn't good. 
really is the problem that like we shouldn't be wasting this much. So Clay's getting a better routine and these rolls are driving me insane because they're not then so I'm gonna go and get some scissors. But yeah, it's pretty much what I'm doing. I've got my potatoes on on the hob and I'm going to make this potato salad once I get all this in the food bin. Um, and I'm going to go out and water the plants as well. Good morning. It's Sunday morning and I'm just getting ready. I've just done my foundation and I've made a little cup of tea and I'm going to have one of these Benefit chocolate and fudge bars. You get them in, I think it's Aldi. And I really like them actually. They're really tasty and they're only, I think they're like... 80 calories and they've only got like 1.2 grams of fat I believe so they're not too bad and they're quite enjoyable so I'm gonna have one of them with a cup of tea. This morning I was prepping the last of our brunch stuff for me and my friend Stacey who's coming over and um, so I've got that in the fridge so I'm gonna show you it. Okay so I did have some potato salad which is literally just potatoes and mayonnaise and chives but the potatoes that I used were Morrison's Jersey Royal. They're absolutely delicious um, and then I've got some cocktail sausages, some baby bells, some grapes and some melon. I love this melon medley that you get at um, Aldi. I think it's like 80 pence. It's really nice. It's a nice little mix. Then I've got some chicken and ham. I've rolled up some ham and I've just put some chicken out which is some Aldi um, lime stuff. It was like chilli and lime I think. And then I've got a big old salad in here with all sorts. Cucumber, sweet pepper, sweet corn, red onion and lettuce leaves. So yeah. Oh and I forgot about this as well. I got this from Aldi as well. Chicken and baker. Chicken and baker? Chicken and bacon pasta salad. So we're going to have a right old feast. So I'm going to get ready. Then I need to go to the like post office depot basically a parcel came and I wasn't in so I need to go and collect my parcel and then I'm going to come back and lay it all out in preparation for Stacey coming because she's coming about half 11 so actually I need to get a move on but it's going to be nice to see her and um, we haven't seen each other in a wee while so that was a disaster anyway it'll be nice to see her and catch up but I will go just now and I'll speak to you later on so it's half past three. Um, my friend Stacey's just left. She came over and we had like a brunch at like quarter to 12. And then we were, got in my room. She was helping me to do that, which was really sweet of her. So I've been sort of putting it off and I had a lot of uni stuff. So we ended up going through all of that and made a good dent in the room reorganization, which was fab. So that's all done. And now I just need to focus on a few other parts of the room. So hopefully I can get it done over the next sort of couple of weeks. She's just left and I am going to show you a really exciting parcel that I got today from a company called Shein. I don't know if you guys have ever ordered from them. If you have, you might remember them in the past as Shein Side. They were originally called that, but they're now rebranded to just Shein, like all one word. I ordered from them because there was a really nice top that I wanted for my sister's hen theme. So Holly, if you're watching this, don't watch it because you're ruining your theme. So if you carry on and watch this, it's your own fault. And anyway, I'm going to show you what I got and the top that I got and a couple of other things for the theme. Um, so yeah, let's go. So it's a flamingo theme. So I got these little earrings for her, which are really cute. It's not going to focus. There we go, little flamingo earrings. So she can have them. They're only like two pounds. Um, and then I got these blow up flamingo drinks holders um, just as like some decoration for taking over to the Belfast Apartments. The main reason that I placed this order was for this item, which let's see if I can get this open with one hand. Probably not, I'm gonna open this up and I'll show you it. So I ordered this flamingo top that I'm just gonna wear with like jeans. Um, so it's basically just covered in different colored flamingos. It's got the peplum bit. Um, it's actually a really nice sort of crepey material. I believe it was like 11 pounds and that is the the company they are she in. Um, the only thing about it is it's a bit big. I ordered a medium, which probably should have ordered a small, but then actually um, it was just fitting on the arms, so the small would have been too tight on the arms. So I don't know whether to see if I could get, um, we've got a seamstress who could maybe take some in for me, but if not, I'm just gonna have to like roll with it really, and it's gonna be quite a baggy chill top. So along with these and the earrings, I needed to spend a bit more to get the free delivery, so I just decided to go for it. I needed a new phone cover, so I got this one. It's really cool. Nothing's focusing. Here we are. It says, I'm always here with you. So I think it's in reference to the moon, but it's really cool. I love space. I love stars and everything about space. So this for me is just perfect. And as I say, I needed a new one. Then I got this. How perfect is this? It even has a wee handle on it. It's basically like a folder for documents. So I have... A lot of documents that I need to sort out, so I'm going to use this for something important. But I just think it's so cute with the wee cat. And then my favourite, I got this gorgeous bag. I've actually been using it today. You can see all my stuff inside it. 
I think this was something ridiculous like £8.99. It's like this grey corduroy backpack. I mean, obviously it's not like cracking quality. Like this is quite plasticky. Like the zip colour is quite like sort of goldy, but actually for the money I think it's awesome and I don't think it looks too cheap um, and it's just the perfect little mini backpack because I love backpacks and I love grey so yeah this made me very happy. So to be honest I think I'm going to sit out in the sun for like 20 minutes. I'm going to leave here at 4 to go over and see my grand and grandpa so I've not got a lot of time. It is like 20 to 4 but I think I'll just chill outside for a little bit um, and yeah I think Lottie maybe wants some fresh air. She's just chilling down there on her cat scratching thing so we'll go outside because the sun is out a little bit um Stacey and I actually went to Linlithgow and I got an ice cream which was delicious it was really good um but she didn't get one because she wasn't feeling too good so hopefully she's going to feel a bit better later on because that's a shame anyway I'm going to sit out in the garden and enjoy the sunshine although it's quite windy it's been very windy the past few days um and yeah I will catch up with you later probably like the next clip might be food at Ask Italian because I'm meeting the girls tonight for a meal um, and I think there's going to be something exciting happening at that so I'll no doubt have something to report back on later. Okay so I'm back from the farm and I'm about to feed the cat that's how exciting this vlog gets. Um, I'm just taking her wee bowl from the bathroom where she had her dry stuff and I'm gonna give her I'm trying to remember what she had this morning. She had a beef one this morning, so I think I'm gonna give her a fish one right now. Let's see, I should have a fish one in here. What have we got? Yeah, we've got tuna with whole shrimps. Believe it or not, she loves it. She's currently rubbing herself against me, like, give me the food. I would not be keen on this for my dinner, but she loves it, so I'm gonna pop that in her bowl. And then it's 10 to six. I'm meeting the girls at half seven for dinner. I'm so sorry that this vlog is basically entirely in this kitchen, but I feel like this is where I always am and this is where I'm always chatting. So I'm just about to make up a plate full of food for my gran and grandpa um, because I was overseeing them and I told them I had some leftovers and my gran was like, oh my God, can you bring them tomorrow? So they're gonna have this for their dinner tomorrow because they love like potato salad and like ham and stuff. So I'm going to make them up a wee plateful, they don't eat a lot um, so it's important not to give them too much otherwise I think they find that a bit overwhelming. So they're getting like five bits of potato each and to be honest that'll be plenty for them. Um, and yeah, I, it sort of got me thinking about food and sort of the relationship I have with food because I was thinking oh like what will I have as a little snack like before I go for dinner and then it's like Sophie you're going for dinner at like half seven like just wait an hour and a half like it's six o'clock and I think I have this sort of relationship where I feel like I always need to be eating and I know that sounds completely and utterly, utterly ridiculous ultimately it's because I love food <laughs> and I think that's a good thing um but I think at the same time there comes a point where it's like you love food but do you want to be overweight so for me it's not like losing weight isn't known how to eat and the right things to eat. For me, it's just ultimately eating less because I know how to eat well, I know how to lose weight. I just need to stop snacking as much and just eat a little bit less. Anyway, they're getting ham, potato salad, salad, all sorts. So I'm plating that up right now. I'm gonna put it in the fridge, then it's good to go. I'll drop it in tomorrow for them and they have their dinner about five, so it doesn't really matter when I drop it in. Because my dad's been away, man, he's been doing quite a lot. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'll help out and do their dinner. I'm going to get a fresh spoon for the salad. But anyway, I'm going to go and finish this off. I'm also going to give them a baby bell each because who doesn't love a baby bell? I'm going to take it out of the like red thing and just chuck it on their plate. And actually, I'm going to boil some eggs for them. Okay, so that's them sorted. They've got ham, salad, a baby bell, two cocktail sausages and some potato salad. So I just need to add tomato, which I'm going to have to get tomorrow because ours are a bit past. Um, and then I'm going to add some boiled eggs and that'll be their dinner for tomorrow night. Is everyone, is everyone goes open? Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. I am just.
just home from the meal with the girls I was going to and honestly I've had the best night ever. Um, Jasmine had the most amazing surprise waiting for us which obviously I knew was going to happen because well as I explained to her tonight she's just so extra that there was going to be something special and my goodness it is special. I'm going to flip this camera around and I'm going to show you it because <sighs> I feel really emotional. <laughs> I'm just like, I was saying to Jasmine tonight, I'm just so happy at the moment. Like I would say I'm up there with the happiest I've ever been and I think it's because all the people that I love are like having good things, does that make sense? And it just like overwhelms me. Like Jasmine's getting married, my sister's getting married and Jack and Ola are having a baby and it's just like, can't get much better than that. Anyway, I'm gonna stop getting soppy and attempt not to cry and I'm gonna flip this around and show you what I got. So you would have seen this from earlier from the clip probably, I'm not sure where I've put that clip in but I had a clip from the restaurant. Um, this was the box that greeted me and oh my goodness! <laughs> Literally like, sorry, how exciting, like can you imagine receiving a box like this? That's pretty damn exciting. So yeah, I opened it up with the little ribbon, oh my god I'm excited opening it again, I know what's inside. <laughs> And da da da, will you be my maid of honor? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's just mad because like I met Jasmine at uh, M&S, and that was like how many years ago now? Five years ago, and it's just like the memories we've had in those five years. You know, it makes me emotional. But anyway, moving swiftly on. <laughs> This was what I was greeted with. Now the presentation granted was a lot better than this. But first of all, Maid of Honor with my name on it and it's a little makeup bag. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what to use this for. I'm thinking maybe skincare, like take some beautiful skincare with me to the hen and also the night before our wedding so that I can prep myself. Um, now there's a theme here because for her hen we're going to Disneyland Paris, oh my god! So she asked me um, who my favourite Disneyland character was and obviously it was a no brainer because it's got to be Meredith isn't it? Because I am obsessed with Scotland, I think that's pretty obvious from everything that I do, all my posts that I put up with all my different views and actually this film's really like sentimental to me because when I was in the Netherlands there were a couple of times where I really missed home and I watched this film, how daft does that sound but it actually really helped like which is weird because it's a cartoon film but it just, I don't know like just, there was something about it that just made me feel so at home and at ease and it was a real comfort for me so it's sort of, like sort of sentimental as well. I've got Meredith of course and I'm the maid of honour and I absolutely love this, literally it's gorgeous. We tried them on as well and they look so good and it comes with little shorts that you wear with them, oh just unreal, love it. So that was that. Then she framed for all of us the same picture, the three of us got this picture which is at her birthday night out about three years ago I think and this gorgeous frame which is absolutely stunning I love that I wonder where she got that that's beautiful and Barb Galaxy she knows me well um, and then we've got a little lush thing which is making it smell amazing it's the Think Pink Bath Bomb really exciting and then we've got a Bright Tray Prosecco I love this this is so cool um, love the sparkles. I don't even want to use that to be honest. And then this absolutely stunning champagne glass. <gasps> love that. Amazing. And inside, look what it's got. Look what it's got. Oh my god. <gasps> I can't even get it out. Oh. It's got unicorn shimmer. Now, you literally, she was telling me about this. I can't get it to focus, but you literally put that in your drink. And it like turns your drink an amazing like shimmery colour, I believe, which is really exciting. Oh, honestly, I'm I'm just blown away. This is just absolutely stunning. This is gonna be the longest vlog in the world. I've really rambled on, but I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this like weekend vlog was a little bit exciting. I know a lot of it was in the house, so apologies about that. I need to get a little bit better with taking the camera out. I promise I will try. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've had a fabulous weekend and I'll see you in a week's time for another weekly vlog. Bye.